All right, thanks, Gina. Tracking new overnight developments on a deadly movie theater shooting in Lafayette, Louisiana. It's a story that was first breaking last night on Eyewitness News at 10 and 11. New this morning, we're learning a third person has died after the gunfire, which happened during a showing of train wreck. The suspected gunman also among the dead. Also hearing from moviegoers who witnessed the chaos. And then we saw a lady with uh, blood all over her leg. I just grabbed my child and we, I mean, we just all ran. This morning, we are learning more about the investigation into exactly what happened. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace joins us live in studio with those details. And Susan and Patrick, police say the man stood up inside the Lafayette, Louisiana movie theater Thursday night just as the previews ended and the lights had dimmed for the movie Trainwreck. And then, according to one witness, he pulled out a handgun and began shooting. The 58-year-old shooter killed two people and wounded nine others before fatally shooting himself. The victims range in age from late teens into the 60s. Authorities say they have the gunman's name but are withholding it as the investigation is continuing. The shooting occurred six days after the conviction of James Holmes in the Aurora, Colorado theater shooting. Police are not sure if last night's shooting is a copycat crime, but the investigation is far from complete. Just standing up, just shooting at the whole crowd. For who knows what. Out of an abundance of precaution, we wanted to make sure that there were no devices. We did blow up a package, uh, a suspicious package. No explosive devices were found. Police say the suspect had a criminal history, but it dates back several years. About 100 people were inside at the time of that shooting. Coming up all new at 630, hear what Amy Schumer, the star of the movie Trainwreck, has to say about this tragedy. In the studio, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.